guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute cat that i made okay so and i used two kinds of yarn i used the white yarn and the green yarn for the sweater of the upper body and uh what you're gonna need i use this kind of yarn uh it's called the nico yarn i don't know if you can see that it's a korean brand yarn okay and i also used a crochet hook uh, which is 3.5 millimeters uh, so that the my work looks nice and neat okay so that's all you're gonna need so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the legs and for the legs we're going to use the main color which is the white color and we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap like that okay and i'm going to put my mark over here so i like to use a piece of yarn uh, i find it more convenient so I'm just going to put it over there okay so now we're going to start with the second row and okay so in the second row we're going to increase in all the six stitches for a total of 12 single crochets so you're going to go in the first stitch and do two single crochet in the first stitch okay do two single crochet in the next stitch also okay do again increase in the next stitch okay then increase in the next stitch two okay and also increase in also the remaining two stitches in the last one okay so you have a total of 12 single crochet so I'm just gonna pull my yarn to close the gap like that so that it's tight enough okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is from our third row it's quite easy so from the third until the 31st row you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 12 single crochet in each row okay so from the next row which is row 3 until row 31 please do single crochet and then uh, you're going to have something that do that looks like this uh, because uh, we're making a long legged cart so cat this is how it should look like okay so when you're done with your second leg uh please don't cut off the yarn i'm going to show you how to join the two legs together and then we we'll start doing the body together okay so after you're done with your legs this is how they should look like please make sure you start them before we continue with the body okay so now we're going to join the two legs together and what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, to start with a chain four so we're going to do one two three four okay so after you do your chain four you're going to come here where you left off and then you're going to slip stitch into the next leg so you're just going to do a slip stitch like that okay and then i'm going to place my marker over here Okay, so after you do that, we are going to do single crochet all the way around until here at the end. So we have a total of 11 single crochet in the, for the first leg. So you're going to do single crochet. Two. Three. Four. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so after you finish with your twelve single crochet like that, okay, make sure you come when you go here where your marker is, make sure you do another single crochet because we don't want our work to have a hole so we're just going to do a single crochet over there okay and then i'm going to do single crochet in each of the next uh chain so i'm just going to do single crochet in each chain so i'm going to do i'm going to have four single crochet in my chain so i'm going to do one two three and four the last chain here it's a little bit hard so you have to make sure you do the right chain okay so four Okay, and then in the same way here where we attached, make sure you do another single crochet uh, in the chain where the two legs attach again. And then we're going to continue doing our single crochets. So we're going to do one, two, three. four five six seven eight nine ten Eleven and twelve. Okay, and then again, do another stitch where your chain attaches to your leg. So we're going to do another uh, single crochet over there in the next stitch before we continue to do our our single crochets in the chain. So just do another single crochet over there. Then we're going to continue to our chain and do single crochet, four single crochet. We're going to do one, two, three. Four, over here, okay, and then again here where we are, uh, we've attached the chain to the leg, we're going to do another single crochet over there, so that it looks nice and neat. So as you can see, there are no holes that have been left over there, that's why I'm doing that. Okay, so now uh, in that row, we have a total of 34 single crochets or 34 stitches. So after you're done with that, uh, in our next row uh, of the body, which is row two until row eight, 
you're going to do single crochets all the way through until the end okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet again until you get here where your marker is so that you count as one round and then repeat that until you get to row eight so you have a total of 34 single crochets in each row so you're, go you're just going to do single crochet single crochet all the way around so i'll see you when you're done with your eighth row so that i show you how to do the next rows Okay, so after you're done with your row eight uh in our row nine we are going to change to the green color which is the clothes color or the upper body color so uh in this row after you change to your green color we are going to work in the back loops only so as you know in amigurumi you usually have when you do single crochet you have the front loop and the back loop so you're going to do to, to go in the back loop and do single crochet also same in the back loop do a single crochet so in this row the ninth row you're going to do the back loop only all the way through until the end so you're going to do single crochet in the back loop single crochet all the way around in the back loops only Okay, so repeat that uh, all the way around until the end and you have a total of uh, 34 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our row 10 until row 16, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 34 single crochets in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with your 16th row so that we start the 17th row together. Okay, so after you're done with row 16, in our row 17, we are going to start decreasing. So uh, in this row, we are going to do single crochet in the next 15 stitches, then decrease in the next, and then repeat that two times for a total of 32 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so after you do your 15 uh, single crochet, in the next two stitches, we are going to decrease. So we're, you're going to go in the front loop pull through and then go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then you're going to pull through all the three loops okay and then you're going to repeat that again so you're going to do 15 single crochet and then decrease in the last two stitches for a total of 32 stitches so i'll see you when you're done with that and then i'll show you how to do the next row so after you're done after you get here at the end of uh, your row 17 in the next two rows which is row 18 and row 19 you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 32 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with your row 19 and then i'll show you how to do the 20th row okay so after you're done with your 19th row in our 20th row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next 14 stitches and then decrease in the next and do that two times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
also 13 14 okay and then you're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all the three loops together okay so after that you're going to repeat that one more time so 14 single crochet and decrease in the last two stitches and then i'll show you how to do row 21 and 22 okay so after you're done with that until the end uh, in our next row two rows which is row 21 and 22 you're going to do single crochet all the way around uh, for the next two rows for a total of 30 single crochets in each row so i'll see you when you're done with your 22nd row so that we start the 23rd row together okay so after you're done with your 22nd row in our 23rd row we're going to do single crochet in the next 13 stitches then decrease and repeat that two times for a total of 28 stitches so we're going to do one single crochet two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop pull through and the next stitch pull through and pull through all the three loops okay so then you're going to repeat that one more time so you're going to do 13 single crochet and then decrease in the last two stitches and then uh, after you're done with that i'll show you how to do the next row so after you're done with that uh in the next two rows which is row 24 and 25 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 28 single crochets uh for a total of 28 stitches okay so and then after you're done with that i'll show you how to do the 26th row okay so after you're done with your 25th row in our 26th row we are going to do single crochet in the next 12 stitches then decrease in the next stitches and repeat that uh, two times for a total of 26 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop of the next two stitches and pull through okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so you're going to do 12 single crochet and then decrease at the end so after you're done with that uh in the next two rows which is row 27 and 28 you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 26 single crochet in each row so i'll see you when you're done with your 28th row so that i show you how to do the 29th row okay so after you're done with your uh, 28th row you're going to change into the white yarn and after you change into the white yarn uh, you're going to start to do single crochet in the next 11 stitches then decrease in the next stitch and repeat that two times for a total of 24 stitches so in this row we're going to work in the back loops only okay so you're going to go in the back loop on the first stitch and do single crochet one next stitch you go single crochet two 
then repeat that again three four five six seven eight nine Ten and eleven, and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to go in the back loop, pull through, then back loop, pull through, and pull through all the three. Okay, so you're going to repeat that again. So you're going to do eleven single crochet and then decrease in the last two stitches. Okay, and then after you're done with that row in the other two rows which is row 30 and 31 you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 24 stitches and then after you're done uh, with your 31st row you're just going to cut your yarn and stuff your body and then i'll show you how to make the head so now we're going to start making the head and for the head uh we're also going to start with the magic ring Okay, so we're going to do the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and I'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap. Okay, so I'm going to use this kind of marker here to mark uh, my next row. Okay, so after that, in our next row, we're going to increase in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. So you're going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochet the same stitch okay and then do two single crochet also in the next stitch two single crochet Okay. Also, do two single crochet in the remain in each of the remaining four stitches until the end for a total of twelve single crochets. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch, single crochet, increase, and we're going to repeat that six times for a total of eighteen stitches in this row. Okay, so you're going to do single crochet. And then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so repeat that again so single crochet and then increase okay so repeat that until the end for a total of 18 stitches Okay, so after you're done with that row, uh, in our fourth row, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then increase in the third stitch and repeat that uh, six times for a total of 24 stitches. So you're going to do single crochet, one, two, then increase in the next stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same row, in the same stitch. So, and repeat that again single crochet in the next two stitches then increase in the next stitch okay so repeat the same pattern all around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our fifth row we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase in the fourth stitch and repeat that six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three 
and then increase in the next stitch I'm going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so repeat that again so three single crochet increase and repeat until here at the end for a total of 30 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row uh, which is our row six we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat all around for a total of 36 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochets in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat that pattern all around so four single crochet increase four single crochet increase all around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our seventh row uh we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches increase in the next and repeat that six times for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around so five single crochet increase five single crochet increase until here at the end okay so after that uh in our next row which is our eighth row we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches and then increase in the next stitch and repeat that six times for a total of 48 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern again so you're going to do six single crochet increase five more times until here at the end okay so after you're done with your eighth row uh in our next row which is row nine until row 16 uh, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 48 stitches so in our next row row 9 until 16th row please do single crochet and then i'll see you when you're done with your 16th row so that we start the 17th row together so after you're done with your 16th row in our 17th row we're going to start decreasing and uh, in this row you're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches then decrease in the next and repeat that six times for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six Okay, and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then in the next front loop pull through and pull through all the three loops okay so you're going to repeat that again so you're going to repeat six single crochet decrease and repeat that five times until here at the end okay, so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our row 18 we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches then decrease in the next stitch then repeat that uh, six times for a total of 36 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease in the next two stitches 
okay and then you're going to repeat that until the end so you're going to do five single crochet decrease five more times until here at the end okay so after that in our next row which is our row 19 we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then decrease in the next two stitches and repeat that uh, six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease in the next stitches Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five times until here at the end so you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our last row we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then decrease in the next stitch and repeat that uh, six times for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease in the next stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again five times until the end so when you're done until the end you're going to cut your yarn and fasten off and then i'm going to show you how to do the ears okay so for the ears we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so you're going to do one two three four five and six okay so and then i'm going to close my gap over here Okay, so I'm going to use this marker. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our second row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of six single crochets. So you're going to go in the first stitch and do single crochet. One single crochet in the next one two three then repeat that again three four five and six Okay, so I'm going to pull my yarn over here to make it more tight okay so after you're done with that in our next row which is our third row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase in the next and repeat that two times for a total of eight stitches so we're going to do single crochet So single crochet one and then single crochet in the next stitch so single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch Okay, and then we're going to repeat that one more time so single crochet one two and then increase in the last stitch so we're going to do two stitches two single crochet in the next stitch okay so after that uh, in the next row which is our fourth row we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase in the next and repeat that two times 
for a total of 10 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch two single crochet Okay, and then you're going to repeat that one more time so three single crochet and increase in the last stitch okay so after that uh, in our row five uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat that two times for a total of 12 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again so for single crochet and increase in the last stitch uh, for a total of 12 stitches okay so after that uh, in our next row which is our row seven or sorry row six we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches then increase in the next and repeat that two times for a total of 14 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat that one more time until here at the end so in our next row which is our row seven we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat that two times for a total of 16 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that one more time until here at the end okay so after that in our row eight uh we're going to do single crochet in the next seven stitches then increase in the next and repeat that two times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat that one more time until here at the end okay, so after that uh, we're going to go to row 9 and in our row 9 we are going to start by increasing the first two stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six Okay, after that we are going to increase in the next three stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next one and also two single crochet in the next stitch okay so after that uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two 
three, four, five, six. And then we have one stitch remaining, so we're going to increase in the last stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 10th row, which is our last row, we're going to start by uh, doing single crochet in the first stitch. So you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then after that, we're going to do single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So you're going to do single crochet one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 okay so after you're done with your 11 single crochet we're going to increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining 10 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so after we're done with that we are going to slip stitch in the next stitch and i'm going to cut my yarn long enough for stitching like that so this is how uh, you should attach your ear like you should flatten it like that and then you're going to make the other one okay so now I'm going to show you how to do the the arms okay so the arms are quite easy so for the arms uh, we're going to do with the same way as the legs but uh, after you reach your fifth fifth row you're going to change to the green yarn and then you're going to continue all the way until the 23rd row so you'll have a total of 23 rows in your arm okay so you do six you start by six uh, the magic ring and six single crochet then increase in the second row and from there you're going to do 12 single crochet in each row all the way until here until the end which is the 23rd row okay so but don't forget to switch your yarn over here when you uh, reach on your fifth row so you start with the green yarn from the sixth row okay so you're going also to make two of them and also the tail is quite easy the tail also is the same thing but for the tail you're going to do to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring and then you're going to continue with the six single crochet all the way until the end so my tail has a total of 18 rows so they're all six single crochet all the way around and then i changed my yarn over here around uh after i finished my fifth row so from the sixth row i used a different kind of yarn so i did that until here at the end so they're quite easy so your arm is gonna look something like that and your tail is gonna look like this so then i'll show you how to assemble your doll together so don't forget to to fill in your arm but just around three quarter way so don't fill it all the way up so stuff it until here so that when you sew it it can move up and down okay so i'll show you how to uh, sew all the parts together okay so guys as you can see i've already finished the uh, joining the parts together Okay, so for the ears, I counted like one, two, 
and then uh, from the top I counted two rows from the top and then attached it on the third row and then it's gonna go all the way down and make sure you do the same for the other one okay and then uh, for the eyes I need I wanted to make a smiley cat so what I do first is I use a pen and then uh, do a little bit draw it uh, using a black pen I draw the eyes first and everything on the face and then I use the yarn to embroider all the way through and the nose and also here on the whiskers okay and I made this little tie little bow tie so I just made a chain long enough and tied it over here okay for the arms this is how I attach them so make sure they are in line with the um, with the side of the face so make sure they are in line together like that and also here in line uh, with the other one so that they look cute together okay and then here for the for the tail also I attached it here at the very end of the shirt or the sweater that's where I attached it okay and there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this part 10 if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and check out my other videos too and until next time bye